how much have you earned do you think from affiliate marketing like from to affiliate this day? marketing oh man definitely over six and mul multiple six figures for sure the way you do it it's mostly profit right because you're not are you running like a lot of paid ads all of that that i got was from organic traffic and if i wow. did run an ad it was a retargeting ad beautiful all these things that i don't have to build from scratch yes. so i'll let you know right now still being an affiliate marketer having sold a ton of products that were my own affiliate marketing is still great like the ability <laughs> to send somebody to a link and get paid is nothing beats that like there's nothing that will beat that type of model because you have the ability to earn all the profit without the fulfillment what is the value of something like coaching and mentorship and courses because that's a huge debate right now online i got so the perfect answer you want it so there's Ooh. information and there's transformation and if you want a bunch of information it's all out there but nobody's going to force you to do it so that's what the coach is there for so no matter where you are in life if there's an opportunity for you to learn from somebody that's been there or has gone through the mud why wouldn't you learn from them you know even if it's free or paid one thing that i'm seeing that's really lacking is like people are not getting any feedback like on their business oh, they lord <laughs> yeah they go through all right what's up everybody i'm here with a very special guest this is jonathan he is one of my mentorship students and i believe the first student to hit the thousand dollar per day milestone which uh is pretty crazy we're just chatting today to talk everything about affiliate marketing mindset jonathan is really really strong when it comes to the mindset uh, maybe Jonathan, you could, you want to share a little bit about yourself and then we could start the questions. Yeah, let's do it. Do a grand introduction. So Peggy, Christopher, whoever's on the recording. Hi, good to see you. Uh, my name is Jonathan Santian. I started doing, I guess you can call it affiliate marketing or digital marketing, online entrepreneurship back in 2017. And the way I got into it was a little bit of a wild story. I'm not sure if Odie, you remember my story, but I got into a car accident after I started building my clothing business. Yes. So I was going to, uh, I was going to university at the time and I live in Colorado Springs, by the way, I'm not sure if anyone knows Colorado Springs. Uh, that's where I'm, that's where I'm located. So there's a road called garden of the gods where there's like this big national park. Uh, anyways, I was turning left on an intersection, got crashed by a vehicle and spun like around six times till I hit a light pole and boom, like that's what, that's my catalyst for my online journey because I eventually got to a point where I had to quit my jobs. I was working a nine to five at Planet Fitness and I was doing uh, some couple of morning shifts to the evening shifts at, uh, it's called Apprentice Personnel. I basically did landscaping for other mm -hmm. companies. And that's how I started the online space game. Like that's how I got into it. And in around what, 2018, 2019, yep. or even 2016, I actually used to see some of Odie's videos on YouTube. Like I started seeing his videos pop up on YouTube. And one day he opened up a program and I joined it. Some other people joined it. Uh, and it was a great time. Like that's how I got into uh, Odie's world. And I actually got started in his uh, first program, if you guys were ever curious. So way back, like what, six years ago almost now? Yeah, I think it was like 2018. Yeah, 2018. It's the, so. number, the numbers fade. But yeah, that's a little bit about me and today. Uh, today, what I do now mainly is I coach online. I help people build digital products. Uh, and I really am like a coach. I know that I'm going to do my best to not be a coach on this call because that's me. Be I want to be more relaxed. And like the mindset thing that Odie said, I do have a mindset company with two other guys. We do events in this house. So we fly our clients here. We work with them in person. Uh, I've had opportunities to go and staff other events for a company like Inspirian, if you've ever heard of them, uh, staff some other classes where we're doing seminars of like 300 plus people in a room in Vegas or 100 people at a retreat in a, in a ranch in Texas. So we do some really cool stuff. And that's what I do nowadays, just coach and teach personal development. Awesome. And Jonathan, actually, like I, I found this before our call. I just want to pull this up. I I literally found this um, little message that you did. We used to have a forum. So we used to have a forum for the mentorship back in the day. I thought I was smart to like make a forum on this WordPress site and have the whole program on a custom site, which honestly, looking back is like, that was way too much work. Like the technology was not where it was. Um, but I remember, so, so I found this on an email, um, but you posted this to the forum and there were so many good, like inspirational posts from you and from other people. Okay. I guess it was 2019 actually on this post, mm -hmm. but this is like a year from like when you had started and 
you know, you, you had this message right here. Um, and it was crazy to me just because you were also like so young when you joined, that was the other factor that was like pretty crazy. Um, but I think about this is like, so, you know, your first year 14, like just under 15,000, but then I think the thing is people need to understand too, that like, that's pretty much mostly profit, especially the way you were doing it. Right. Could you speak on that a little bit? Yeah, yeah, the way that I was doing it. And I know that everyone here is promoting some type of affiliate product or maybe your own product in the future, but I actually struggled a lot. Like I was promoting, um, I would run Facebook ads and email traffic if anyone knows what that is. I'd run email traffic, Facebook ads, and I really didn't see any results. So I said, man, why don't I start doing organic stuff? And what I learned was some, it's this, what I call nowadays, the worst case scenario. So I'm like, well, what's the worst case scenario if I send a message to somebody or I post content in a Facebook group or I uh, give people freebies? So that's what I did on my social media accounts is I would just give freebies to people. I'm like, hey, if you want me to build a funnel for you, I build a funnel for you. And this particular product that we're talking about right now was a product that ClickFunnels used to promote a lot. And all that I would tell people is, hey, if you would like some support in maybe building a website, here's your website. And if you'd like to use my affiliate link for the software that the website is hosted on, here you go. And that's all yeah. that I did. That's all I did. Just connecting with people, providing value and worst case scenario. If you don't want to buy, at least you got a free website out of it. That's the worst case scenario. Oh, okay. I see. And you know, that is so amazing because I think people who get into affiliate marketing, they kind of just want to automate everything off the rip. You know what I mean? You get into this, you're like, I don't want to talk to people. I just want to make sales. I just want to make money. So one thing I do remember from you is that you were willing to get hands on with people. So it's a little bit more of like sales. It's a little bit more of service and support, but that has results because the closer you are to providing value and just exchanging like free value to people, the higher likelihood they're going to buy from you or through you and you get rewarded in return right absolutely and the best part is if you've already built that connection with them and they know you they're most likely going to buy another product from you in the future which is actually what ended yeah. up happening uh, yeah. most of the people that i sold into like affiliate products i made my own little digital products afterwards and a lot mm -hmm. of them bought them that's amazing yeah. yeah so either way it's like value it's just like like you said the worst case scenario they get something for free the best case scenario they become someone in your network become someone who trusts you become a customer for life basically Absolutely. right yeah 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 um and just to give a ballpark you know you don't have to give uh, exact numbers but you know how much have you earned do you think from affiliate marketing like from to affiliate this day? marketing oh man i think I've definitely earned more from building my own programs because that's mm -hmm. where I love to coach. That's been my thing, but definitely over six and mul multiple six figures for sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and mostly the way you do it, it's mostly profit, right? Because you're not, are you running like a lot of paid ads? Cause I didn't, you know, the way that I teach it, I don't run a lot of ads. I do run some ads, but not like it's literally 88% profit margin. No, no, not anymore. I think at this point, um, like my my affiliate marketing game definitely is something I want to go more into. Like I told you guys yeah. right now, uh, more in the coaching space. But like I said, all, all of that that I got was from organic traffic. And if wow. I did run an ad, it was a retargeting ad. Beautiful, beautiful. That's the way to do it for, for efficiency, for uh, ROAS. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, the thing about affiliate marketing, so like when we say like multiple six figures and other business models like e-commerce, that would be like, okay, cool. But like the profit margin there is like 10, 20% all in, like after everything's said and done. But if it's mostly profit, you know, with affiliate marketing, because you're not dealing with all of these extra costs of goods sold, then that that's like an insane amount of money. Absolutely. Because if you, here's, here's one thing that I thought about when I was, um, when I was failing at doing the thing, because I said, wow, well, what I can do is. I can either build my own product and sell that, or I can use somebody else's leverage, their results, their testimonials, all these things that I don't have to build from scratch. Yes. So I'll let you know right now, still being an affiliate marketer, having sold a ton of products that were my own, affiliate marketing is still great. Like the ability <laughs> to send somebody to a link and get paid is nothing beats that. Like there's nothing that will beat that type of model because you have the ability to earn all the profit without the fulfillment. And if you've yes. experienced what fulfillment is like, it is 
either the best thing on the planet you'll experience or the worst thing on the planet because customers like customer service at one in the morning <laughs> if somebody <laughs> wants to access something is like a pain in the butt or if you are dealing with uh you mind if i share a story of something that happened to me uh, go ahead refund so this is when i was i had a content business with a buddy named zach in 2020 2021 with covid was around uh one of our clients she had a uh she had a she was a practitioner for i think what did she do for something around uh counseling for athletes right for athletes and stuff like that and these are high performing athletes by the way they'd get sad if they didn't win like an olympic gold medal as an example uh which makes a lot of sense you train for four years you get bronze yeah, your whole life you think it's it's like killer on your mind we wanted to build a website for her we work with her and we realized that we were getting a lot of load like we were getting too many clients not enough team members to help everybody so a couple months later that client she actually asked us to refund a fifteen thousand dollar program yeah so After you did the work right yeah correct well and it wasn't a full i'll be i'll disclose that it wasn't a full refund it was a ten thousand dollar refund but still that was very painful of an experience for us because we're we're wanting to deliver our services and work with people and work with our clients and then imagine you sell somebody like yeah so we just made a great profit we have a great client and they're like yeah well i don't really like you guys uh i'd like to refund uh the uh program i just purchased and that hurts boom. yeah it's it's incredibly painful. That's what I mean. Like if you send someone to a product and for some reason they don't like it in the next few months to come, you as an affiliate don't have to worry about the drama. The worst, the, the worst case scenario is you get a clawback on the commission, but that's not going to keep you up at night. Like, right. yes, you know, it sucks to lose a commission, but I mean, it's not like one day you wake up after doing all this work and the stress and someone says, Hey, give me back $10,000. And as a business owner, I know that, you know, there's a lot of times where, or when it's so fast and it's like, you're, you're moving so quickly, like you may have probably spent the, you know, the $10,000 or the $15,000, depending on, you know, how, if you spend money on ads, if you spend money for team members, for payroll. So like, you know, just someone asking you for a five figure check, like out, out of the blue, it, you know, it's just a gut punch, no matter which way you spin it absolutely yeah you, you said it perfect right there can't add anything anything else to that that was great yeah i know i you know as a business owner you know i, I i've experienced uh pain as well so you know i i feel for you um what i will say though just if i don't if i might add i learned a lot from that experience i'm actually really happy that happened to me um i yeah. know crazy as it seems again yeah. this is the mindset of it i'm really happy that that experience happened because i know exactly why um unfortunately that person had uh wanted a refund and it was because we were just maybe not delivering our services the way we thought we were we thought we were doing a great job and maybe she didn't think that we were doing a good enough job for what she paid or maybe yeah. or just maybe uh she bought something that we really didn't see her fitting into our ecosystem properly. So there were all these opportunities that opened up because of that. And we learned so much like that, yeah. that right there resulted in more money. Yeah. Made. Yeah. Yeah. In the, in the short term, you, you make a loss, but in the long term, you know, it, you can laugh about it while you're on the bridge. And it's a, it's a painful lesson you had to learn at some point, whether it's today, whether it's tomorrow, whether it's six months from now. Um, so I, I appreciate you sharing that story just to, just to drive into people that, affiliate marketing is the most stress-free business model i just made a youtube video today where i was like my first affiliate site when all i did you know one video one post a month about reviewing some headphone that was the best like that was the most stress-free time of my life because you know i made way more money since that and from other sites but they were way more stressful and just just like you know the ideal lifestyle i'd say if you're going for that for me i want to work right now i'm in that mode where it's okay to have this stress um you know but if i was trying to like have the best lifestyle optimized for that it would be heavy affiliate marketing it would be some ad revenue it would be some you know some other uh income streams but with affiliate it's like the worst case scenario is somebody refunds the product and i just i don't get that commission boohoo move on um so i appreciate you sharing that story okay let's open up uh to some questions maybe yeah for sure yeah man um it's it's a wild story that you had there just from the beginning like where were you at like with the car crash and everything i was like wow like what what came into that mindset like what brought you to this point of developing that that strong mindset now 
I feel that that made you grow up like way faster because of that experience. Like, cause that was a serious injury. Like I remember you oh, talking yeah, it about was, that. It was really bad. Like if it wasn't for that, I don't know because I wouldn't have all that. I wouldn't have had all that time on the laptop. Right. <laughs> so when you were injured and you were recovering, that's when you started exploring, you know, online. Yes. And yes, yes, yes. That's when I started exploring things because I couldn't even pick up like a 10 pound weight from planet fitness because of the concussion I had. And you used to be like, you, you like you're an athlete, right? Like you, you were an athlete before that, right? Like that was a big yeah. part of your life. Yeah, we're like sub five minute miles in track. <laughs> Holy. Yeah. That's so, insane. After that, I couldn't even, I couldn't run either. Like I would run and no. I feel like, ow, you know, like this weird strong sensation in my brain. So, so it was you, tough. It was tough. Your identity was challenged. Oh, like you, you know, when, yeah. when you're young, you're, you're young, especially when you're young, you feel invincible. And then you're like, you're young, you're fit. Like you're an athlete. And then to, to end up looking like that and to get messed up and to just, just, you know, be damaged. Um, I, I understand why, and you mentioned confidence. See, you know, what I'm noticing, even if you hadn't gone, like people who haven't gone through an experience like this, confidence is such a big key for entrepreneurship. Like you must have conviction before you get the results. You have to believe in yourself before anybody else believes in you. Or why would, why would they believe in you if you don't even believe what you're saying? Boom. So like YouTube, like, you know, making YouTube videos. And even for me, like I've been doing this a long time, but like, sometimes you need to like work out to, to feel confident or just like be in a mental and emotional state to like be your best self. Cause like when you're in a low vibration state where you're feeling anxious and that scarcity mindset, um, it's when you make content, it shows like that the vibe like gets translated over the internet, which is like weird to say, but people, people pick up on these little yeah. things. Would you agree with that? Oh man, I, I agree. And I don't know if anyone here struggles with this, but if this is something that you struggle with, I think you'll get a lot of value from it because I did. So, and, and again, again, I'm a guy that constantly works on himself. I'm investing tens of thousands of dollars in my own personal development for me to become the best version that I can be of, of myself so that yeah. everyone around me can benefit from it. And that's another thing is I said, every time I take care of myself, everyone gets a benefit out of it. If I, I never love that. Of, yeah. If I never took wow. care of myself in that time, I wouldn't be here right now. I'd probably be doing something else. So when that model of, Hey, it's not good. That selfish mentality, it doesn't exist. They give that to you as I don't know where it comes from, but there are some selfish people in life, but they're also the people that like to take care of themselves. So they show up better for others. Like, Hey, I got to sleep so I can support you. I got to, I got to learn because I want to be able to deliver, to deliver the best information, whatever that is. So one mindset shift that I think personally helped me was just be vibrant. That was something I literally wired in my mind is be vibrant, be excited, be grateful for the people around you and the people that you get to support. Because if you're vibrant, chances are that, that vibration, the vibrant energy that you're bringing rubs off onto other people. Contagious. That's it. Yeah, totally. it's on a stage or a Zoom call, it doesn't matter. We're still in the room. You're still around people. They see you unconsciously yeah. and subconsciously. They're still looking at you. And even with your, I like, feel like you're right in front of me. Yeah, we're in the room right <laughs> That's now. How it feels right like now. I can have <laughs> we're, we're all in here just sitting around at a table, you know, normal, normal lunch date, lunch date, coffee, chill time, whatever it is. Right. I love so that. I agree. I think your confidence is super, super key. And whatever it takes to build it, go build it. Start today. Yes. I yeah. wait tomorrow working out, you know, working on yourself, like look good, feel good, whatever it takes. Um, endorphins from, you know, doing, doing some exercise, going for a run, like these things, you have to really take care of your, your body and your physical and your mental state. If you want to perform the best. I mean, in continuing forwards on that, like th from your injury and you had a lot of time on your hands, um, getting into affiliate marketing, how did that come to be? Like, uh, how were you introduced to Odie and um, kind did of you, start from there? Sorry, did you try any other business models like when you were exploring? Because that's <laughs> something I did for yeah, sure. Yeah, of course. Uh, <laughs> I definitely tried other business models. I got in, uh, I got a little bit into like eBay, e commerce, drop shipping. I try to go into stocks and do that as well. Um, funny enough, like I thought a product that would really kill it on eBay. I bought uh -huh. a bunch of them that didn't work. <laughs> that didn't work at all. So, um, when that had happened, like I, I mentioned, um, it was just a struggle because I'm like, man, well, I want something to work, go, go in and going and going and trying different things. But eventually I ended up finding 
um, some other programs out there. As a matter of fact, like Odie was probably one of the later programs I had bought because I bought from other coaches that were selling things out there in the space. So there were various coaches that I went and bought programs from and every coach taught something different. And that's where I was learning. And I would say even with like Odie's program, I learned completely different things from other programs. So it was, it's crazy because it's such a mind change. It's a mind shift, how everyone teaches. Gotcha. It's so broad and wide, right? Like affiliate marketing is just, there's so many niches, so many millions of products and there's so many approaches to doing it. Um, so yeah. Yeah. Well, here's what I'll say is it doesn't matter if you're promoting somebody else's product or promoting your own product or promoting bathwater. Like there's a, there's a niche and an audience for everybody just are there for you. Like they're, they're out there in the world. And once I realized that there's a ton of people and I had this abundance mindset, I'm like, there's a lot of people on this planet. And they're going to always be buying things. And if I can just find a way to create my style, my niche, and then go into that niche and approach it with a unique way that will provide value, that's how I saw myself getting sales. Is I was providing something that people, number one, worst case scenario, got something super good out of it, even if they never mm -hmm. bought anything from me. If you have that mentality, how are you going to lose? Like, imagine this. Right. Imagine... Odie sent a message into your into the chat. I think you guys are on Discord. Said, "Hey, I'm going to jump on with Jonathan. Worst case scenario, if you guys miss tonight, you can watch a recording on how to build your affiliate business, learning from somebody that has already launched many successful companies and redestroyed and rebuilt them. That's the worst case scenario if you can't make tonight. And watch that sounds pretty good to me. Yeah, <laughs> Wor worst case scenario. And on top of that, if you send us any questions, we'll answer them live for you, so you can have them on the recording." So it's better than scrolling on Instagram, if you ask me for an hour. But yeah, there you go. So <laughs> but consumers, it, yeah. Yeah. So that's it. I would just say, um, and, and it's really, it really is about rewiring the brain because if you're wanting to do affiliate marketing because you want to make more money, and that's the only reason why you're wiring your brain for it, it's gonna be challenging. It's gonna be Ooh, challenging to make money. This is because, good advice. Everybody listen to this. Yeah, it's really challenging because what I learned is we f we filter the world through our own lenses so we all in interpret everything differently based off of how we grew up what we've experienced what our values are and the best example to, to put this in is with like relationships in in a, in a business and marriage so this example i've always taught to my clients and i've learned it myself that's how i pass it on to them so let's just say you have a wife and a husband that they're building a family and one of them is uh the husband is an entrepreneur or the wife's an entrepreneur it could be either or point is the wife might have a top value of the children and the husband might have a top value of work and when it comes down to the last important second chances are the wife's going to say are you going to make dinner are you going to buy us dinner tonight i can't i'm working late for the business and his value is business her value is the kids and now they're going to be in conflict so what you see is now in conflict with what you want so you start seeing all this crap online of like people succeeding and making a bunch of money and you think that's what you want when you don't really know what you want it's been oh, that's, your your perception has been altered by like this you most of your programming is done zero to seven about th about 50 percent and then i think from eight to 18 it's about 80 percent and then once you get to 30 it's so you're you're done uh, I remember when I was in college and I was looking around, like I, I had found online stuff, MJ DeMarco, Millionaire Fastlane, <laughs> like around yeah. this time, it was a perfect time because I had a gut feeling like I didn't want what everybody wants in terms of like, you know, obviously, you know, the, the common term is the matrix, like, and mm -hmm. I was just looking around and I just didn't want to be here. Like, I just didn't want the same traditional path that everyone else had. And plus, I also knew the possibility of the online stuff. Like if it wasn't for that, who knows if you don't know what you don't know, what, you know, how could you get into something, um, like mm, affiliate marketing mm -hmm. or online business? Yes. Um, and however way you stumble upon it, if it requires, you know, like, like what you went through, which is tough, but like the, the silver lining is it brought you to where you are today and you're happy with who you are today, where you're at today. It's like, thank goodness for everything good or bad that happened to me. And so. I, I do think that it's hard to go against the grain because when you tell people what you're working on or what your dreams are, it's so different from what you're spoon fed since you're, you know, a baby, since you're, you know, in elementary, middle school, high school, college, it's all indoctrination of like, 
hey, this is what you should want. This is what you should uh, strive for. But I, what I like about today is I think you're you're seeing so much evidence of like there's another path. The path has never been more viable than it is now. And honestly, anyone who's had the taste of freedom, I think we just at the end of the day, like for me, it's just about the freedom. It's really honestly money doesn't rank number one. Absolutely not. Like it's it's if I make money, but I don't have time and location freedom, then like what's the point of it, of it all? And, you know, I mentioned that in my video today where, again, like when I was just reviewing headphones, it's funny because like at the time I thought my goal was like, you know, this is cool, but I want to make way more money. I want to like drive, you know, these exotic cars, whatever, whatever. But now that I'm looking back, it's like, dude, that was actually like the peak in terms of, well, not the peak, but like that was really a nice lifestyle, to be honest, in terms of if I was optimizing for happiness or just for, for a stress-free life for, you know, that was actually a really good time. But when during the time I was so forward thinking of like, what's next, what's next, what's next, that I just couldn't, you know, I couldn't have gratitude during the time. Yeah, man. I think you're hitting a big point. I think everyone here, like if you're watching this live or on the recording, what you're really looking for is fulfillment. That's what yes. you're looking for. You're wanting to feel at the end of the day, you're fulfilled, you're happy. Yes. And if you're working in something that you love and you make money out of it, and maybe it's not even as much money as you'd want, but it makes you happy, you're going to be fulfilled, you know? And this the is stress, the best life. And being stress-free, man, like what is, I, I don't mind being stressed if it's something that you love doing. Like yeah. if it's something you love doing, you're going to be like, yeah, throw that stress my way. As long as I get that done and I'm fulfilled at the end of the day, I'm okay. You know? And stress is good to a certain level. There's good stress. Then there's the bad stress that's going to leave you sick. Yeah. And you know, you're going to, you're going to be, you know, you're not be able to sleep at night. You're waking up with night sweats. Like there's, there's levels of stress. <laughs> um, you know, exercise <laughs> is good stress. You know, it, it gets you stronger. Um, but you know, a client telling you, Hey, give me back $10,000. That kind of stress i would not really ask for on a daily basis <laughs> that's rough so you yeah. don't know what you don't know yeah. but when you become aware opportunities being created so if yeah. you never knew the digital marketing world existed and then you find out and i've had some clients where i've coached in companies they find out in their 60s and 70s that you can make money online they start getting all these bad emotions they're like, man, I, I wish I figured this out in my 20s. I wish it has existed in my 30s. Mm. And maybe some of you have experienced this. I experienced like, man, why didn't I figure this out sooner? All the stories start coming in, all the stories. And my, my point with that is the stories and all this stuff, what it's doing is it's making you want to learn. But if you don't learn and apply, all that is is potential power. And you're not really doing anything. You're just absorbing more information, you know? My coach tells me it's the broke know-it-alls and the rich dummies. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good quote. Yeah. Um, I, I remember when we got started that, and honestly, the the just the sheer difference of students who tend to become successful and the ones who don't, they're self-starters. They're people who don't ask permission. They just like, they do stuff and then maybe they check in. Maybe they yeah. ask for, how's my form, right? And I remember you were absolutely a self-starter. Like you didn't really need your hand to be held like you would just go do stuff and you were always motivated by yourself because I can't as much, like as much as I try, I can never motivate someone else to work hard. Yeah. It's like the saying of you can't, you can, you can have, you can drag a horse to yeah. water, but never make it drink. Yeah. Unless it's thirsty. So when it comes to your niche, how did you, you know, decide on your niche? Do you think like, you got to your niche through iteration or you think your niche almost like came to you like it landed in your lap oh so. absolutely not i had to figure it out <laughs> i had to find a process i wish it came to me i think talent and working like talent okay talent will only get you so far and then mm. the work picks up yeah like, let's just say uh, me and tyler are on or me and christopher like all three of us are we're in a program and let's just say that between the three of us tyler's the best at building websites uh, he just has it naturally in him. He's very intuitive. His talent will get him here. But if my work ethic and my discipline and my consistency and the way that I'm, I've wired my mind for success is better than Tyler's, I will surpass him. And eventually his talent will become my, my level, you know, because talent will only get you so far. But if you're able to say, you know what, how can I actually wire my brain to like something? If that's actually possible, by the mm. way. You control your emotional state. So if something's upsetting you, it's chemicals in the body causing your, you know, your, your endorphins and everything to come out. You're getting upset. Well, you have the same ability to become happy. 
So you mean or, liking or you something people. hard, like liking something that's like, yes, you know, yes. uncomfortable that's what's going on right now with people in social media right now, people hate working. Why? Because they see yep. so much satisfaction on social media. Like the study of, of something pleasing the eye. And this is going a lot going on a lot with, um, just social media in general, you used to be able to get in a car and then walk to the go drive to the dealership walk out to see nice cars now i instantly get the satis satisfaction of just opening my phone and seeing it in seconds and there's another thing online that gives instant gratification that's a little more 18 and up or uh yeah, yeah, yeah. That. <laughs> yeah there's a lot and oh my gosh i feel so full especially for my generation and the and the teens if you have any kids watching this uh, you might want to protect them from social media because it, it's causing a lot of imbalances in the brain. It really is. Yeah, their dopamine rough. levels are are getting shot Pride. through the roof. They're screwed. So much satisfaction. It's it's insane. Yeah, the iPad kids. R.I.P. The iPad <laughs> kids. Uh, look, before I forget, you know what is the value of something like coaching and mentorship and courses? Because that's a huge debate right now online because people say that oh, the information is free. The information's out there. And me personally, what I'm thinking is like, it goes back to your point of like, you can have information, but if you don't apply information, then, you know, no, nothing's going to happen. So it's more than just information that you need. You need implementation. You need accountability. You need to follow through. I got so, the perfect answer. You want it? Oh, people, people, it. people buy courses and books for information. They buy courses, events for transformation. So there's Ooh. information and there's transformation. And if you want a bunch of information, it's all out there, but nobody's going to force you to do it. But if you find a coach, the coach is going to tell you, well, did you want to do that? And you're like, yes. Well, did you do it? No. Okay. <laughs> let's work through it. So that's what the coach is there for. So no matter where you are in life, if there's an opportunity for you to learn from somebody that's been there or has gone through the mud, why wouldn't you learn from them? You know, even if it's free or paid. Going back to your point, another thing that I'm noticing because I'm doing, uh, I've you know had a lot of conversations lately with both business owners who are more established. Like I, I have clients as uh, business owners, but I also talk to beginners like on a daily basis, whether it's receiving messages, emails, everything you name it. And one thing that I'm seeing that's really lacking is like people are not getting any feedback like on their business. Oh, they, Lord, <laughs> yeah, they go true. They go online, they find out about field marketing. And they start working on their business in a vacuum, in a silo. They never get any eyes on it. They never get any feedback. And they do the same thing for like two years. It never works. And like someone like myself could have told you on day one that would never work before you go out and do all this, do all this crazy work. Um, so for me, personalized feedback from someone who has walked the walk, who's done what, what you're trying to achieve, that to me is another valuable aspect of mentorship. But what what's your thoughts about, about that? my thoughts are how often do you get feedback you know and from yeah. who exactly you're getting it from that's going to be the most important thing if i ask somebody to give me feedback on something but they really are just giving me basic feedback i guess that's cool that's fine but let's just say i ask yeah, like your mom hey nice good job good job son like, right, like mom know. hey check out my website that i made oh it looks really nice yes. thanks you know i all that i wanted was validation at that point mm. I'm just looking for subconscious validation. If I'm asking my mom what my website looks like now, I can ask my friend what my website looks like. And he's like, yeah, man, this is all off. The colors are weird here and the buttons wrong there. And then when I click the button, it doesn't take me to the next page. I'm like, I can either do two things. I can weep and be upset about it because it sounds like he's being mean to me, or I can take his feedback and say, oh yeah, thanks, man. I appreciate you taking the time to even look at the thing and tell me what you saw, because that's what they see, right? Yeah. They see the world in their own lens. They're looking at things in their perception. And sometimes we're in the vacuum. We can't see everything. We got to have a third eye. No, no one can. I mean, from, you know, what I learned from music is, you know, you get so into working on a song for four hours, eight hours, that you forget what it sounds like, to be honest. Like from fresh years. That's why fresh years is like a concept. Same with movies, to be honest. Like, I think so many movies need to do more of those test screenings to just see, like, hey, does the audience like this movie or is it a flop? Because there's so many movie flops and there hasn't been any good movies lately. I'm a big, like, I love movies. Um, but it's like if you had more feedback cycle, 
you had alpha testing like the best games are the ones that have a long sort of like early beta early release where the, the players give you feedback hey you need to fix x y and z by the time it launches it's polished it doesn't have many bugs and people actually enjoy playing the game thank you peggy i appreciate it yeah it was a great time being on here with all of you and just getting to know you so maybe we can do this again and anywhere i can support yeah, thanks you guys so much. i would love to do that go out there and win thank, thank you, you jonathan so